Actually, this is the first time I'm actually going to react to an Asmongold video. What the f So, I guess the, the Tarkov is as another thing that happened, another update. You guys heard about the Tarkov? It's just $250 to, to unlock a, a PvE mode. Uh, some DLC update stuff. Update on the... That, um... What do you call it? Uh, that the people that purchased a $150 version of it like, like a couple of years back, because this game is pretty old when I did a research on it. Um, and it had a big community. People paid $150 because they, they promised it as uh, DLC. You could just see for free, uh, like a bunch of perks like for free. And so what it turns out, they actually modified the... Uh, they modified the website for to change some wording for the people that purchased a $150 one. To uh to say like oh it's just it, it's a um um what do you call it is it like an add on or something I don't know they just modified the website they changed it up um I saw there was the interview with Asmago was interviewing a guy who, who was like a big content creator of Tarkov and he knows all about it all that kind of thing so yeah they changed some stuff in the wording on the website for the hundred like I said we were just watching a video about Tarkov. And an update for that, and yeah, people are really mad. The community's like, in, 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 okay, how would you guys feel? You guys want to support a company because you love the game a lot. You paid hundred fifty dollars for a game with all extra perks and all that. Then the game to end up backstabbing you, where like they changed a lot of the wording on the website, where you actually don't get those perks anymore, and you have to get you have to put in another hundred dollars for the two hundred fifty dollar version, right? Um. For you to get a PVE mode and and the other extra perks that the people that the company promised you a couple of years ago, how would you guys feel about that? Well, yeah, uh, that's what's going on with Tarkov, pretty much, right? I think to, for the most part, that's what's, that's what's kind of going off right now, and it's really really bad. It, it's like their company is on flames right now. They literally are ruining their company. It's just like what. The I, I have no idea. And there's better ways to make money. If the company needs money, there's better ways, especially if you have a lot of supporters. Yeah, there are people that will purchase a lot of stuff for your freaking game, right? Especially if people are willing to pay $150. $150 already for the game with extra perks and all that? Yeah. That is, like, insane. But yeah, this is my first time uh, reacting to an Asmongold video. The current situation. On stream. Uh oh. I wonder what situation that is. So, they put this out, I guess, earlier, 12 hours ago, earlier today. It's Foul State Games. It's from Nikita. It's the same main guy. So, uh, he says, let me clarify the situation a little more detail in a little more detail regarding okay. owners of Edge of Destruction Edition, Edge of Darkness, excuse me. Uh, addition and access to the cooperative mode and other issues. First of all, PvE game mode is not DLC. DLC, in our understanding, is the major additions to the game, including what? various functionality and content that are released after the official release of the game as themed DLC packs. That's, Secondly, no, we, uh, this specific functionality of PvE mode is necessarily located on a separate network infrastructure because essentially you play on our servers only in closed mode. At this stage, it is not possible to launch all players who are EOD holders. Right now, we simply do not have the required amount of resources for this. We observe your dissatisfaction, and we have decided that the functionality of PvE mode will be available for free to all owners of Edge of Darkness uh, at the release of the game oh, when the server infrastructure will be improved oh, to the required uh, capacity. Now, you have all had the opportunity to test this mode by purchasing the Unheard edition of the game or upgrading the version, uh, upgrading to the version. We also decided to give a 50% discount when upgrading to the Unheard edition from the uh, so Edge of Darkness of edition. Dollars. We plan to send one free Left Behind edition keys to everyone who's already been upgraded. Moreover, any player of any version of EFT can have the opportunity to test the PvE mode. We want to add the ability to purchase... Uh, a separate early access to this mode. So they're just bat checking everything. They didn't want to get refunds. So if the owner buy the new version, they can't host it, right? Refer a friend key. That's better than playing full price. I mean, it is, but it's like, bro, 
Like they're backtracking a lot, dude. It's, it's... For EOD owners, there will be a 70% discount on the purchase of early access to PVE. It would be interesting to hear your thoughts on this idea. I mean, this isn't really that bad, right? It's probably the best one that they've had so far. It's still bad, oh, it but like it's it's the it's the least worst one. I would say that. Yeah, it's the like the developers got a coke uh, habit. Like, <laughs> yeah, it is one of the bizarrest thing ever, man. Like they had a good system, and it was working for them, and for some reason, they just like decided to do this weird, um, uh, like I uh, like 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 this weird upgraded pack. Or uh, not packed, but like, uh, what do you want to call it? Um, uh, addition. Sorry, I can't speak today. And it is insane how they try to lock PV eat mode and then say, "Oh, this is not." They're trying to like redefine what DLC is and everything. Like, bro, it was so bad, bro. So bad. They, they bro, they were literally because of this. They were literally in this, in a in a place where. They could have lost their company and they probably could still lose it. Who knows how people feel about this? Because like if I was a player, if I was a long time supporter of Tarkov, right? I was a big uh, Tarkov fan. I was a big supporter. I bought the hundred fifty dollars position and they came out with this shit. I would have been like, I'm done. I'm out. I'm good. Because you know what? Hell no. Uh, like, cause you never now it, it kind of makes me think like what's going to happen in, in the future, like in the future, uh, DLCs now. Are we gonna go? Are we gonna have to go through this again? Then the redefining DLCs, redefining packs, redefining perks. It's just gonna get really, really annoying. The least worst one. Why couldn't they just offer this off the get go and subvert all the drama? I I don't know why. I have no idea. So basically, the reason why this is DLC is because it still runs off of the same base game. And it's still beta, So though. in general, a DLC is anything that, like, for example, World of Warcraft uh, Plunderstorm is like DLC. Uh, in addition to the game, that's like a new way of playing an existing game is DLC. You're not making a new game. Like, it, 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 in, in any definition of DLC, this does not fall under that category at least it doesn't sound like the magic eight ball that's true wrong try again tomorrow look at the first mod comment okay uh last time i checked a brand new game mode that the game's never had is a pretty major addition to the game that's obviously dlc popular questions that appear in this thread how's the new game mode uh not major content so therefore not dlc uh well, well look i mean here's the truth you know it i know it everybody knows it right it is dlc by yeah. any normal person's definition of DLC, a PvE mode is DLC. That's just the way it is. Nobody is going to imagine that it's not DLC. Like, if you polled a thousand gamers and you asked them, is this DLC? I bet... Is that, yeah, DLC is downloadable content. Yeah. Like, I, I, it's crazy. Like, first off, PvE game mode is not DLC. DLC is our understand is a major addition to the game, including various functionality content that are released after the official release of the game as Steam DLC pack. Like you'd have at least nine hundred and fifty, if not all a thousand of them, saying, "Yeah, it's probably DLC." Like, come on. And also, like, there's no dictionary definition of this. So, really, whenever you whenever you give people something and then you misdefine it in a way that's non-advantageous to them, that they clearly don't understand, they're going to get pissed off about it. I mean, like, it's really not that complicated. Like, so, it, it doesn't matter, like, what your definition is. Yeah, anything you download post-game uh, is still peer peer or not. Like, bro, this is a scam. Yeah, oh, I forgot to read the title of this video. Uh, well, this is official a scam, which is like, they talk about the Tarkov situation. Yeah, I, I mean, why would you, like, uh, I'm going to tell this to all the players, right? Like, tell all the players. Why would you, why would you want to support the game? And I feel bad for the content creators who play, uh, who make content based on Tarkov. I feel bad for them now. And I have to, like, think about, like, am I going to still make content of this game, even though they really try to scam us? If it's not DLC and a patch, then you really are shouldn't be charging. Exactly. Like, that was insane, man. They, they're still charging it, I believe, to this day, right?
I mean, it's still new, right? Like, uh, all, this whole thing is new, so... Um, but I believe on their website, they're still, like, like showcasing the, the, the additions of it. Um, right? Uh, the Unheard edition is still there, right? They, they haven't changed it fully. Access to PvP, uh, access to PvP co-op mode, persistent progression, which will not be said with doing wives. And then this one right here has it changed it on their website. Nope, nothing like the hundred ten dollar version. There used to be a hundred and fifty dollar version. What I've learned within this game, um, yeah. So I don't know, man. I I I, I it's just I don't know. Look, they're doing fine, and they could easily if they wanted more money. If they wanted more money, they could have done it in a way better way, in a way better way, way better way. Oh, because, you know, this is like another example of the customer's skins. always right. Uh, if the customer thinks this is DLC, then it's DLC, especially if pretty much all the customers think that. And I think that's where they're at right now. You advertise the arena as DLC previously. It is no longer advertised as DLC. Well, exactly, right? And the reason why they advertise the arena as DLC, it's because the arena was DLC. Uh, that's the reason why. So why is this happening? It, it, and, and also, like, I think that they understand that there is a clear, there's obviously, like, doublespeak going on. Because if they didn't realize that, they wouldn't have changed the line about DLC. I think that that's the best way that you can tell that they did it on purpose, is the fact that they changed the, the, their, their wording. So, like, if they, and, and, like, why would you need to change the wording? Well, the reason why is because you have redefined DLC in a way that is advantageous for you, but that doesn't necessarily mean the customer has to, uh, you know, follow along with that. Arena was basically a standalone asset flip. It had nothing to do with the base game and core gameplay loop. Yeah, well, maybe the PvE doesn't either. Uh, EA is watching us off the corner and taking notes. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, let's see, the rest of this is still very tone-deaf and arrogant. Tarkov is still in beta, and you used the money we gave you to fund other bullshit we didn't ask or expect. Common sense should tell you to don't move resources from anywhere until Tarkov is feature complete. Once you've shipped the game, then go and waste whatever resources you want doing your own shit. I think that's pretty fair. Uh, it, it is. Y'all are so close to hitting the nail on the head, yet miss due to arrogance every time. It's not due to arrogance, it's because they don't want to. So this is the problem that the Tarkov developers have. They can't give everybody the the um, the PVE because they don't have the server capacity for it. Now, so, so if they need, like, the, and that's the thing too. So, so like, yeah, if they don't have the money for the PVE mode yet, I'm telling you, like, if they release skins for the game, if they release certain like weapons or maps or not, I don't know about maps because those maps take some time too. But like, like, if they release like certain other like content, like DLC to fund the like they need funding for the PVE mode for servers and all that. Um, like five here's uh buy five dollars to get this pack, right? Which it won't take a lot of resources and time to make certain packs and DLC that people will actually buy. Especially this game has been going on for some time, and I can't believe it's still in beta, by the way. Um, but yeah, like this game, like oh here's the list right here, by the way. PVE is not a major addition to the game, so what a major not a major requires so many additional resources. So other not major additions like a patch, a fix, or anything else will require additional payment. Not available for everyone. Is a PVE is a major addition to the game. Like, <laughs> so how how do you solve that problem? Well, you solve that problem by not releasing something like this in the first place. Yeah, that's the way you solve the problem. But um, now that they're in this, there is no easy solution for them. Because if they can't give everybody the server space, they can't afford the server space, they're stuck. But the truth is that this is a problem that they've created themselves. They did this to themselves. It's not like it's some other, you know, accident or <clears throat> anything like that. It happened because of their own actions. Uh, so close, but still not listening clearly. Oh, you almost had it. Yeah, I feel like this is better. <laughs> Let me clarify something too. If you access a mode PVE version through a game, original multiplayer, uh, as far as you can't play the specific mode without the game, then it's 100% part of the game, making it a DLC. Yeah, this guy has the best definition of it. He did it better than me, right? Yeah, I, I agree with that. PVE is objectively DLC. It doesn't matter what BSG's definition of DLC is. Well, also, you have to remember that they agree 
that the PVE is DLC. And this is one thing that I hope Tarkov players understand. If is that agreed, the yeah. developers of Tarkov know that it's DLC. They know it. And, and you can know that for a fact. And the reason why, the, why you know that they know it's DLC is because they changed the wording yeah. on their website. The one I was talking about, like the $150 version or something like that. Yeah, so they, I, I wonder if I could find it. Let's see. Escape. Um, I'm sure I could find it. The 150 version. Damn, this was six years ago, too. Look at this. Reddit. Also, this is considered in purchasing a $150 edition. This is seven years ago. Still, everyone's optimism uh, regarding EFT, Esca Escape from Tar uh, Tarkov. Uh, I currently have these base edition of the game and considering upgrading to the highest edition to support the devs and get perks. But I don't want to make an investment if the game is going to die out a few months, which it didn't. It actually last years, by the way. Seven years, by the way. Seven years. I really, uh, I personally love the game. The servers are cooperating. I have like 30 hours in the game. I have done, uh, done factory runs. I haven't explored the other maps yet. As long as they complete the game, there will be a player base, uh, for instance, hardcore survival is a nice, uh, niche genre. Um, I have the EOD edition and, uh, been playing it since the alpha started. Uh, I've been steady progression and development. Like, bro, this is seven years ago. I wonder how this guy feels when he actually bought a $150 edition. It's no longer there, by the way. You can no longer buy this, by the way. Um, and this whole thing came out. <laughs> if Why would they change the wording if they were being consistent? They changed the wording because they knew that they were going to do this. That's the whole reason. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't believe anybody who, who believes this shit. I mean, let's be honest, man. It's disgusting. Well, it's not a surprise. Uh, let's see how standalone game arena is a DLC, but a new game mode that we paid for is not. Well, because it because they're lying. That's why they're lying to justify a bad behavior. Uh, it's simple, and and this is the thing. Like a lot of people, a lot of people try to use logic and try to argue with people, but whenever you argue with somebody who's lying, you're just going to be lied to. The truth is that there's no point in even approaching and arguing this. They're lying. They did it because they don't want to spend extra money on server capacity. They changed the words right. at, they know, have a after they, the fact they to gaslight people into thinking that it was never the case. <laughs> that the they do have money for servers, but they're, they're, on, they're on coke, right? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, you see the interview where they claimed did not have changed their web wording? Like, I'm playing Sandland right now, it seems good so far. Oh, yeah! Uh, I was gonna think about buying Stantland, but I don't, I don't have the money for it. Um, hopefully, like, I, I hope I could accept the way a little bit to, uh, buy Stantland. Honestly. Uh, I, I really want to play, I did play the demo, I got, I got, like, uh, sick, by the way, because it was, when I play a new game, it's always, um, what do you call it? it, it it's always a uh, a struggle for me to like get used to a new game, and then once I get used to it, like a day or two, I can finally play the game. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, I was thinking about buying it, but it's like uh, I was thinking about buying this too, by the way, because this is like one of the final uh toy figures from Akira Toriyama, pretty much. It comes with this, it comes with the figure too. Look at this. Oh man, it's one hundred twenty nine dollars though. Uh, which the figure is about what sixty dollars, around there, right? Compared to the collector's edition kind of thing, so, um, uh, it's a it's a very sick figure. It's not that tall though, but obviously, but uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's around sixty bucks usually around these figures. 
Oh yeah, the figure's amazing. Yeah, did you get that one? Yeah, I would love to get this one, but I can't afford it. Um, yeah, you can still buy it, luckily, but yeah, I really want to get it. Um, for the figure alone too, as well. I mean, the game was fun too. When I played it, it was fun. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I was like, damn. Arena was DLC, but this talk isn't. <laughs> and, and and now they're trying to pretend like this never happened. I mean, let, let, let's be honest here, guys. They're, they're just being pieces of shit. And so there's no reason to even engage in an argument or a conversation. They're lying. They scammed people. Everybody knows it. And that's why they're all mad. Yep. There it is. And if they had said, too, here's the other thing. If they had said with the PVE, they had said at the beginning, we're not going to be able to get everybody into the PVE at the same time. We're going to have a really long server queue for the PVE. Or we're going to have a random lottery system, like kind of how like WoW betas have like a random invite list. Then it would have been fine. There's like 50 different ways that they could have done. Oh, that's true. They could have easily done that because technically it's still in beta. Right? It wouldn't be like the greatest thing ever. Would people hate it? Yeah, it's of course. Like, damn. A pretty long system for a PvE mode, a lottery, or whatever they decided to that would have been way better. Because one, they're being honest. Number two, it's a solution. Not the best, but it's a solution. And then hopefully in down the line they could fix that solution and make it better and better and better. Oh, you play something? Yeah, I play a demo. Yeah, 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 yeah. I put the demo. I'm just hoping the combat gets uh, more depth. Yeah, uh, what I've noticed with the combat system, there's this tree. There's a tree to unlock new uh, new uh, mechanics. And there's also, like, looks like there's going to be, like, new kind of, like, uh, vehicles for the game, too. Because on the demo, you got the tank. Uh, you got the, you, you got the, the bicycle. And then you also have the, the fighting robot. Right? So what I'm thinking is, and there's like two other slots for like two other robots. And and then like with the other mechanics of the game, I'm pretty sure, I don't know. I'm pretty sure adding more because there, there was a skill tree what I remember. So I'm, I'm pretty sure there's going to be more skill depth into the game. It's like, uh, what I remember, I, I, I had fun with it. You know, exploring and everything. I just got sick because again, it was a new game. <laughs> Done this? But the, the reason why they didn't use any of these other methods, you might be like, oh, they're stupid. No, these guys aren't stupid. They did it for money. What do you think? Like, oh, look, guys, let me give you a little bit of advice. Whenever personal gain and convenience, or sorry, coincidence converge, it's not a coincidence. Do you think that they just accidentally charged $250 for this? Get the fuck out of here. They clearly did it because they wanted to see how much money they could get from people that they already got the money from. That's it. Jordan Belfort was talking stupid. Yes, you, you never want to think that somebody who is scamming you is dumb. I think that, yes, they have mismanaged this situation, but the outcome of the situation was entirely planned. This is what Lyric said. Especially now that all these, ex now that the game, now that the genre is a fucking bombshell yeah. of every motherfucker wanting to make an extractor shooter this goes back to my chart you know you have a lot of people who are seasoned in eft yeah the community is like super into your game they love you and hate you at the same time yep because the cheaters <laughs> or the bugs or whatever the fuck but they oh, still yeah. load up you i heard about the turkov it's really bad with cheaters now I heard it's really bad with cheaters. Like, really bad. You got the community like a WoW community. They love you and hate you. And they love You're to hate successful. you. successful. No, he's right. Lyric is right. A lot of these people don't mind forking up $250, too. Well, a lot of people that play PoE don't mind forking it up, but they also don't mind it because they don't have to. Uh, I think that whenever you require something, it's a lot different than... Yeah, I mean, I, I, of course, there's gonna be people always. There's always gonna be somebody who's willing to per, uh, to pay, uh, what do you call it, two hundred fifty bucks for a game, like for the hardcore fans and stuff. But like, come on, let's be honest, man. You think majority of people want to pay a hundred, two hundred, an extra hundred dollars? Because the what I read is majority of people pay one hundred fifty dollars for it.
though. Like, like, hell no, man. An extra hundred? It's not considered done. No, no. It was on Alpha seven years ago, right? And so there's a version. There's a couple versions, right? The 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 base one and the 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 updated one, like the one with the Thomas DLC and everything, um, aka including pretty much PVE. And so it was on Alpha, then became Beta, right? So technically, the game is not fully released yet. So they want to charge new. They want to charge more money for a game that's not even released yet. It's on beta. Yeah, they're alpha now beta. So it's not an official, like, like full on release release for the game yet. Isn't that that makes it worse. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. Whenever it's an option. So yeah. It's possible this is an exit strategy for the company since they're hemorrhaging money. Just tank the company on purpose. How do you know they're hemorrhaging money? Have they said that or have you seen their balance sheet? Because I I think that they're not hemorrhaging money. Yeah, no. trust me, bro. Yeah, I mean, if I don't see the trust balance me, sheet, if this isn't a publicly traded company, then I'm not going to believe that they're hemorrhaging money. Yeah, no way. DLC abbreviation, people keep talking about that. Yeah, uh, half your player base gets the new stupid edition. You will not be able to handle the load. Yeah, and this is also like another really good way to look at it. This guy brings up a great point. I thought about this when I was reading it and I forgot. Um, so what's the logic here? So the servers can't have everybody. So you're adding a new version of the game, in which case your best version or your best case scenario is that you buy everything for the game and, and you buy the new version and then you're in the same position that you're at now where you can't afford all the server space. It's actually crazy. EOD was promised was a great mistake for them. Now they've come to regret it and they're trying to find any actual way to make money again. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I don't nice. know if this is a good idea or not. I think that it probably wasn't. Like, personally, I think that it would have been a... Not such a scam. You already have people playing and uh, paying and fans in the community, and you want to milk them. Pretty much, that's what it is. Really, like, like I said, they could have tried to find another way to. Uh, they could have found a way to um to help with the servers for the PVE mode, right? And if they couldn't, they just had to come out and be honest with them. Be honest with the community. Would all everybody loved it? No, but I think it would it would have saved them a uh, a uh, uh this whole drama fest BS stuff if they just came out more being honest about their situation. In my opinion, I think because the community is a hardcore community. By the way, the same like uh, because again, this game is still on beta. By the way, like right, so this this community is literally a hardcore community. You know what I mean? This ain't a um like an everyday kind of thing like uh like uh like a Call of Duty or whatever. This is like a hardcore fan base right here. And the, and the I don't know. I don't know why they they couldn't be honest. That that's the one thing I'm kind of like like bro, are you guys so freaking dumb? Like yeah, the Dr. fans are just gonna pay for the part of the uh, to be part of the community. Like one hundred fifty dollars is the gamer status symbol or some shit. Yeah, no, yeah. Like the thing is, right? Like a majority of people upgraded to a hundred fifty dollar version, right? That was like the majority of people um uh, uh bought, and so now they're asking uh, an extra hundred dollars from them, pretty much. A hundred, uh, pretty much a hundred dollars from them. That's what they're asking for. It's like, bruh. A better idea to just put it out. And then, like, for example, I would have probably tried the PvE version of Tarkov. Like, I'm not interested in PvP Tarkov because it's just too hardcore. And, like, I I'm the kind of person that if I play a game and I lose progress in the game like the reward structure in my brain just like immediately falls apart 
Like, because then I feel like I've lost progress, therefore I wasted time. And then I think to myself, I'm wasting time playing this game. And then I think to myself, why am I wasting time playing this game? Then I stop playing the game, right? That's pretty much <laughs> how, how it happens. So, like, almost any game that has, like, a reverse progression ends up making me lose interest in it, like, immediately as soon as I, I have that reverse progression a couple of times. Like, I just... I Well, the thing is, this is, uh, this is a Russian company, so... Maybe they couldn't find a publisher to help them out or something like that. I, mean, I think Microsoft would have helped out. They should work with a major, yeah, with a major publisher. Yeah, they could have probably found them, but it's like, oh yeah, here we go. Like, look at this. Gap, uh, like, DLC sounds a lot like a feature. F you, thanks for ruining my seven years of respect I had for you and, and your creation. And when after returning, it, you dug yourself a hole. Now go expire, uh, in it. How do we re how do we refund if we're in the UK? I see that happen. I'm done. I don't want to do it again. Bro, seasonal, I'm yeah. Hardcore WoW is the same for me. Uh, Poe, I usually quit seasons whenever I I die a few times and I lose a lot of experience and I'm mad. I'm like, oh, I just wasted three hours. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go do something else. So yeah, uh, it's just it, that that's a personal pet peeve of mine. And if a game has that, I will just never be interested in that game at all. I think that really this wasn't a mistake by them. This wasn't an accident. No. This was them simple. They, 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 this was a like, yo, a, like we have a good uh, hardcore fan base. I think if we ask them to give us another hundred dollars, because again, the hundred dollars, what I'm saying, it's two hundred fifty dollar version. But I think what the hundred dollars coming from is like major, a lot of people bought the hundred fifty dollar version of this game for a while now, right? So now they're asking a hundred to hundred forty dollars, or who knows where base game you are. It's two hundred dollars. Hey, so like one thirty in the morning. Um, now or, or they're asking like two hundred dollars plus because some people bought the fifty dollar version for the base game and stuff to two hundred fifty. Uh, so yeah, I don't know, man. It, it's like I guess it really thought they were like, you know what? It it won't be a big deal. We be fine. Uh, we could easily make uh get the money like get our money, you know what I mean? Like, and and then we will be able to do the PB. Well, thank you for a quick follow. How's it going? Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're talking about Tarkov. Um, and we're, we're watching a video about Tarkov too as well, obviously. Um, and we're just talking about it because, like, damn, dude, they're really on the brink of ruining their whole pretty much game. Like, they're on the brink of ruining their whole game. That's what, like the craziest thing about all of this. For greed. Or because I will say more like, or maybe also like they just couldn't figure out a better way to do the, uh, better way to kind of showcase for PV mode. This is, have you guys heard about Tarkov guys? We <laughs> doing this to make the most amount of money possible. And I think that again, uh, I haven't really looked into Tarkov, no of it, but it's, uh, that's about it. Yeah. It, it, it's more pretty much, it's, it's, it's gone to a point where, yeah, there's pretty much scamming. It's pretty much a scam. Because, like, they already had troubles with a lot of cheaters in the game. Um, and then, like, uh, it's been in beta for a while now. Um, it's, it's, it had already had, like, like, their problems already, right? And now, so, their solution was to milk their community even further in order to fix some of these problems, I guess. I have no freaking idea. Like, and then also locking PvE mode and which is like a big deal, and it, it just doesn't make sense. Been trouble, uh, uh game's been trouble as it is, uh, with all the cheaters, but man, this cash grab stuff is not too much. It, it literally is, man. I don't even play the game, but I feel bad for the people, uh, that have been supporting this game for six plus years, dude. It sucks. Uh, especially, like, also content creators that make this kind of content for this game. Bro. The whole revenue is gone for them now, too. You think they're going to continue making content for this game? Why would they? 
They have to go through a different, like, not different genre, but they have to find a new game. And and for some people, for YouTube, or people who do content creating like that, it's a kill. It's a, it's a, um, it's a, like, career killer kind of thing. I mean, not to that extent, but you, you know what I mean? It'll be, like, a lot less, because there's already people already, like, community sort of, for, like, other games already, like, built from that, right? Um, they wouldn't exist without the $150 people sick my head. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and they could have like they could have gone about making extra money and so yeah, that's literally what I said. Bliss, I literally said cosmetics. I literally said cosmetics would have been a perfect way. Hey, here's five dollars. You get an extra skin. Like f it. And also, they could have been honest. They could have been honest about this too. Hey guys, so we're struggling with the servers for the PVE mode, right? That's like an uh a theory that Aspen said, right? We're struggling to make uh like enough servers for the PVE mode. And so we are making this skin. It is five dollars. Yes, it's a little bit pricey, but this five dollars, you get an extra, you get an extra skin with a little like maybe with a guns or something. And uh, but it will go towards to funding more money for extra server space and uh, grow the game and grow the servers and all like all this kind whatever. Right? A lot of people are like, all right, yeah, a little bit pricey. All right, we'll do it. We'll we'll buy it because we want to support the game. At least it's five dollars. At least you're not asking for a hundred freaking dollars now. Or in this case, we want to get it in new and get the whole thing two hundred fifty dollars. Like that is utterly insane. Pretty unfortunate. Always nuts when your company is doing well, but then chases after the money is the worst way. It just takes the whole. Yeah, pretty much. People are le like people just want to leave this game, and then they try to like the early in the video they try to hey guys, it's not really a DLC. <laughs> like, come on, dude. And with the DLC, I will say it one more time. Escape from Tarkov themselves, the developers themselves, know that it's DLC. Because if they actually thought that it wasn't DLC, they wouldn't have to reword what the purchasing was. Which they did on their website. They reworded it because they knew that they... Oh yeah, and they changed the website too. But yeah, yeah, and like, going back to... And also, remember, imagine, like, they even changed the website of the edition. Hey, by the way, uh, uh, yeah, that deals to be promised for you if you guys purchase a $150 version. Yeah, uh, uh, it's not like, like, that's not like happening. Uh, uh, uh it's on the, on the new one. <laughs> like, bro, they even changed the website. That's scam. That is scammy. And scummed. And scummy. <laughs> Um, anyhow, uh, sorry for this. Oh yeah, for sure. My, uh, my stream ran long. I, I need to get some sleep. Oh no, d all good. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. Much love. Have a great night. Uh, I know it's very late, so thank you for it, for, for the raid. I really do appreciate it. You're in early access and choose not to call me with the, uh, with the community. You're right. They could have, uh, have been honest and, and put the facts and uh, op uh, options on the table. Exactly. Like, I don't understand how they couldn't just ask the community. Hey guys, what, like. We're, we're we having trouble with this and we're trying to figure out a solution for this uh they could ask for suggestions they could have like continue like have a brainstorm meeting even bigger instead of like oh hey guys this is released like a new edition let, let, we'll do that instead a very expensive edition they were wrong that's all there is to it i fucking hate greedy fucks i mean again there's no problem with them I think the, if they had said, hey, guys, we need more money, and so we're going to have to charge. and Not pre-watch. Not pre-watch. All right? I did not pre-watch. Okay? I did not pre-watch. I did not pre-watch. Like, I'm telling you, man. Like, if they were just honest with the community, it would have been a big deal. Yo, what up, Jeff? How's it going? How you doing? Like, I'm telling you, man, I, like, I'm not crazy. Like, tell people about this, like, six months ahead of time. They would have been able to weather this, and it would have been fine. They could have done the exact same thing, and I I'm think blessed. that it probably blessed, would have right? been fine. <laughs> or it would have been a lot better. I don't know. I don't Let's know. say a lot better. And, and the problem why this happens is that, it's kind of what I was saying before, is that if you treat your audience like they're a bunch of vitriolic, stupid children, well, then they will be. 
And so what ends up happening is that this company decides, okay, well, we're going to go ahead and push this out there, but we're not going to talk to the player base about it and then make them look stupid. And, and you know, just like insult their intelligence, uh, be patronizing to them, try to like pretend like they don't know what DLC is. Like you're explaining to an entire community of gamers what DLC is. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Everybody knows what DLC is. That's why they're mad. It's because you're, you offered it and you said that it was free before. So it, it, it's again, it, it's the intellectual dishonesty and like it sucks that yeah people are gonna lose their jobs over this let's be honest right if they shut this game down it is what it is man oh no this is in gold Jeff. the insult <laughs> to people's intelligence that they can't see what's clearly happening in front of them i think that's what really makes people the most angry not actually the price I think that if they had put this out for $250 and they had told people, hey, guys, we know that it's really expensive. We don't have a lot of server space, so only the most dedicated people can get it. They would get shit on. Absolutely. But it would be a fraction of what this is. Yeah. And the real reason why they're getting yeah, shit on yeah, so yeah, much. Like I said, like, yeah, it, would, it, would it be like happy for everybody? Uh, like, oh, like, hey, we, we're, we're starting with this part. Uh, we need more money, whatever. Right. At the end of the day, they, they would have like they would have gotten hate, but not like yeah, they would not be to a point where like yeah, uh, a few in your game, uh, I am moving on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like no, nah, screw you guys, I'm going home. Is this big girl in a basement? Yeah, <laughs> shut up, Jeff. Uh, I'm his other bigger older bro, the brother from another bunch. Oh is because they're insulting the intelligence of their audience. That's the reason. And the people that play Escape from Tarkov aren't stupid. Like, these are hardcore PC gamers that are playing this super complex, like, like tactical military shooter game. This isn't like, uh, you know, pulling the wool over the eyes of Honkai Star Rail players, okay? Where it's like, oh, they're not happy? Okay, we'll release a new picture of one of the characters in a bikini. Okay, everything's fine again. <laughs> so, the truth is that, like, these people are not gonna, they're not gonna take this. They're gonna be fucking furious. So dumb, man. Of so course. Dumb. Or classic WoW players, yeah, something like that. So, yeah, this isn't a surprise at all. And uh, hell, there's Helldivers 2. Uh, be sure to check out the deals uh, in the Acquisition Center today with prices so low. Oh, yeah. Why did you, why did you just get... Bro, is that a... That's a tweet from Helldivers. Attacking, uh, attacking the company. Bro, are you serious? Be sure to check out the deals in Acquisition Center today with prices so low. The press are unheard of. Two believers can grab the CM21 Trench uh, Paramedic for only 250 SD, featuring uh, increased pocket size. And... Bro! <laughs> oh They're my practically unheard God. of. Bro, that, oh boy. that's not real. That is not real. Oh boy, oh boy. That's from Helldivers 2. That's crazy. Damn. Only two days, they backpedaled twice. First, the EOD updated content. Oh, yeah. Yeah, before this whole big update, by the way, it was, uh, if you guys bought, if you guys bought, like, a, the $150 version, you only get the PvE emote for six months for free. Daisy's was, oh, I mean, I, I mean, if you're a company, why wouldn't you, you know? Like, it's crazy. Daisy, oh, hold up. Let me search it right now. Hell divers. Yeah, because like people are loving hell divers too, right? I've seen some of the videos on it. It's insane. How long ago was it, by the way? Uh, so Daisy, what other company are talking about? Um. About Markov, uh, uh, Markov. Oh, I think there's a deleter date because I don't see it anymore. Am I chipping? Or maybe it was like a. Hold up.
Uh, if any major developer has something like Tarkov, uh, in the uh in the works, that's a wrap. I mean, yeah, I mean there is. There's couple. There's plenty of games now. It, it was a niche like seven years ago, like they said on like we saw like the, the Reddit. Um. Oh, here it is. Sixteen hours ago, right here. Found it. I actually found the actual tweet. You're my dad. Holy shit, Dr. Lupo. Wow, dude, that is insane. Bro. Uh, in case you forgot, uh, these are your words over and over again. You don't believe unless you pay $250. Uh, oh yeah, this right here, Battle, uh, Battle State Games. I believe they had one too as well. Yeah, I mean, other companies are jumping on in them now. Might as well take advantage of it, right? If you're a company, take advantage of this. Make fun of them. And uh, just like, hey, our game is just as good, you know? So for $100, I could get the PB mode in Tarkov to do the same shit for the 17th time or the entire 42 kg map with a whole new experience. I know what I'm choosing. See, I'm telling you, look at it. They're already like grade zone is already like there's all there's games out there just like Tarkov. Tarkov it just has a fan base. It just had a uh, added strong community, but now all the strong community is gone. They lost credibility. Oh, you got the link? I saw um uh, what's this? Oh yeah, you did. Oh, here we go. For no reason at all, I would like to remind you, uh, if you buy your own DZ base game, you will get a DZ Livonia, uh, Livonia DLC for free, but an update 1.25 to clarify the learn DLC will no longer be sold separately once update 1.25 is released on stable branches. Uh, uh, existing DZ base game owners with, uh, without Livonia will receive the DLC for free of charge. Furthermore, you will be adding a new addition to our merch store, just for a code paid to win. Oh my god. <laughs> to get Daisy started loot for only $250. Come on. <laughs> oh my god, man. Come on. The apple and the. Come on. I. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Are you serious, man? Remember, um... Uh, wait, hold on, wait, what? I saw a blockchain uh game that was something like that, but it's not, it's a long shot. I mean, the, the Web3 games are still have a long way to go, but then yeah, I, I, I would not be surprised if the game for that already. Remember, I said I was learning to build a custom arcade cabinets though, through an online website called... Sk yeah, 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 I remember that. Well, I'm not finished yet, but uh, two of them, but uh, well, I'm going to finish the other design with your permission, of course. Uh, cover the box inside, uh, side and back with one of your... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah let me know which one you want, and I'll, I'll give it to you. Uh, if you want me to in future reference, uh, cool uh, future for PAX anime conventions. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you want to, uh, let me know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let me know what you, uh, what kind of art you're thinking about. There's Ar yeah, Arma too. Yeah, there's plenty. There's plenty of options out there for this game. And now they've reduced the price upgrade. Do not fold. No, he. This person is very right. Yeah, yeah. never compromise with people that are trying to, uh, uh, trying to fuck you around. Never yes. be like, okay, well you can only, you know, it's like you're not gonna cut my arm off, but you can at least have a finger. Don't let them have anything. Yeah, keep. Yeah, yeah. just keep pushing. Act like it's never good enough until you actually get what you really want. Uh, because if you don't, then people are, they're just going to slowly yeah, edge that sad, away from you man. over time. It really is. Life is becoming expensive. Why not Tarkov? Seems fair. Um, the problem isn't the price of the game. The price is like the insult to injury. If they yeah. had introduced this price. Yeah, if, like, I'm pretty sure he was probably going to say it, my opinion. If, like, they were just honest with what was going on and what they needed to do in order to make this happen. In order to get the final product out, by the way, because it's still beta, it would have been a lot better. Point 
and they were honest and forthcoming with their community about what their financial problems were, you. then mm -hmm. you would have had a lot of people that were angry about this, but it would be 20% or 10% of yeah, what it is now. Yeah, it would have been that big. It's the lying like, and the her, insult uh, to the intelligence of the, the audience game. that's really making people angry here, not necessarily the price or the content itself. That's basically what's going on. Price change is now live, still won't buy it. So it went from... So if you had the $150 edition, and then yeah. you Is buy this time? edition, it would be $100, and now they cut it in half? Man. $75? That's a really big price difference. Wow. Wait, 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 hold up. Is it 75 Yeah, yeah, What? Well, it's $50 I just checked. Well, yeah, but, like, it's 47 euros, like... I remember, like, I think euros are less than a dollar now, but it's like it's around fifty bucks, right? It's around fifty dollars or fifty euros, somewhere around there. So yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's they, basically they it. This, I think this one right fifty here, bucks right? profit in a day, exactly. Left yeah. Behind, I think. This is uh, Japanese right I'm here. Thinking, yeah, I don't know about any other currency. Compared I'm just saying about this. To the people that bought the new edition, you are idiots. For funny their exit strategy. Yeah, people who. Purchase the two hundred fifty dollars version are stupid as fuck. Sorry, like I don't mean to like. Like if you're supporting a company that's ripping you off, you deserve to get ripped off and scammed at this point. I'm sorry, right? If you're supporting a company that's clearly milking the elf out of you, <laughs> uh, yeah, you deserve to be scammed. I'm sorry. Do you need to pay uh for this uh server access monthly? Um, I think so. No, I don't think so. Um, they were, they were introducing something where like on the PV mode, you were, you were to only get it for free for six months if you didn't buy the $250 version. Um, so you want to get it for free for six months. I'm, I'm thinking that we're going to do a monthly service access thing, um, uh, for people that didn't have the ultimate edition version or whatever you want to call it at this point, the scam version, right? Um, so yeah, I think that we're going to do that. Um, because yeah, I, I believe, um, uh, yeah, I believe they're, the, the, because again, they can't really do that because they're in beta. There's not a full game. You know what I mean? Like they're, they're in beta. That's the craziest part is this is all beta. Guarantee instant access to close beta. This is not a full game. You know, but yeah, Jeff. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Let me know. Just send, send me a message on Discord or something. By the way, uh, and all the good stuff. You know. Yeah, that's the crazy part. Funding their exit strategy. Uh-oh. This always... Hey, from somebody who spit on Don't Storm Out me. owners, <laughs> let me tell you, this isn't going to go anywhere, all right? The people that are buying the edition have already spent $250. They're already stupid. You're not going to convince them that they're stupid because if they knew that, then they wouldn't have bought the edition. It's not... You can never explain to a cat that a cat doesn't know how to divide fractions. You can talk about fractions to the cat. You can explain, I'm, I'm like, okay, you. so you have here. And then at the end of the they, day, they know what you need. the cat's just going to... And he's not going to understand it yeah, at all. Let me know what you need. There's never going to be a point where cut. you get it through his head. And this is the same thing. They don't oh, know the it thing, man. Cool. It's not yeah, going to happen. Today. Will microtransactions evolve or disappear? And, like, buying with I a doodle? I do think that loot boxes will go away the reason why loot boxes haven't gone away is because people buy them number one and number two there are not any regulations yeah. to prevent kids from using them so i think it was a honestly i don't play any game when loot boxes oh, that's 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 not true i play Yu Gi Oh. i mean it, it's not Loop, I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh is expensive, by the way. To play, to get the Pokemon, uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh cards you want, um, but yeah, I don't, really, I don't, I haven't spent any money on deal, 
When's the last time I spent money on DLC? I think the last time I, 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 I spent money on DLC was Cuphead. And then is there is there anything I and then Yu-Gi-Oh is the closest thing I buy to like get like random cards in order to get like to sell those cards to get the cards you want, you know? But they're very general. If you play the Yu-Gi-Oh game, guys, if you actually play it like an hour a day or 30 minutes or whatever, you actually get gems for it. And they're actually very generous with the gems for the most part, especially if you played like their events and stuff. Um, so you don't have to spend a lot of money unless you really want like 30, 40 decks, then that's a different story. But honestly, you don't just spend that, you don't spend any money at all for uh, Yu-Gi-Oh to get uh, like to get things you want eventually. Is that you just gotta play the game? <laughs> you just gotta play the game, you know? <laughs> Do you sell your cards and trade them online? No, for Yu-Gi-Oh, it's like, it, it's like, uh, it's like, uh, there's different tiers, like, UR is the ultimate, like, rarity, and then there's rare, and there's, like, the, like, the, the lesser one, the, un, like, the uncommon and common, right? And so, the, the way it works is, like, you, 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 you buy a pack, it could be for Pacific cards, or it could be, like, the Master Duel, uh, pack, right, which is, like, almost anything without the game, unlimited, right? And so, if you get a UR, you get uh, I believe you get like ten point, you get ten points for the for the UR back, right? Uh, and you need thirty points to make a UR card. So you have to get at least three URs that you don't want to sell those, like like break them. You get those ten points, and you get thirty points. You get to you get the new UR. That's how it works. You cannot trade or sell uh Yu-Gi-Oh cards on that game, like in that way, like like make money and all that. No, you cannot do that. A very telling thing that whenever they decided to not let under 18 people in china buy loot boxes that all of these companies stocks went down massively because the truth is that a lot of the kids that are being taken advantage of by these loot boxes and it's the parents fault it's not the uh it's not really the company's fault it's the parents but regardless um you know at a certain point you need to have a regulation for something uh, the truth is that a lot of times it's built off of uh, getting kids to buy it. Even with regulations, the fines are still tiny and it's just a cost of business. We'll just make the fine higher, right? That's a pretty easy thing to do. So what's more, you buy this trash equals you normalize this kind of behavior in the gaming industry. I remember whenever I heard this. Yeah, I remember hearing this uh, a while ago. <laughs> Yeah, if you normalize it in the industry. Yeah, and everybody was saying, don't buy it. Don't buy it. Well, luckily, nobody bought it, and microtransactions never never took off, right? I mean, I think that's what happened, right? Yeah, guys. I mean, this Tarkov stuff is pretty embarrassing. And I think, again, they can solve this problem whenever they want by just saying that they fucked up and acknowledging what they fucked up with and keeping doing the same thing. Because if they just keep doing the same thing, but they just don't call their players stupid, then it'll be fine. It's, again, the fact that people are being called stupid is the issue. I, I mean, yeah, let's be honest. Uh, hey, guys, do you guys know what a DLC is? Like, actual DLC? Do you guys know what DLC is? You guys don't know what DLC is. This will DLC... Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm done. I'm done. But yeah, man, it's just so dumb, man. They had a good hardcore community, and they're probably still going to have it. I don't know, like... I, I still don't know if the company's going to go, like, downhill, right? And hopefully it doesn't in some cases because I don't want people to lose their jobs. Nobody wants that at the end of the day. But, I didn't, but they really, they literally got the shovel and dug themselves a perfect rectangle square for the, to put their game in and rest in, and rest in peace, pretty much. Yes, uh, it's not DLC. It's the future. It's the same vibe. It's not loot box. It's a, the surprise mechanic. Like, that's, bro, dude. That DLC that killed Turkov, like... Update the on the current... Oh, sorry. Uh, finally, I escaped. <laughs> it, it'll be available at uh, release date, we promise. Like, bro, it's... It's, a, it's, still, it's still beta, man. It's like... This, like, bro, like, I'm gonna be honest. This is why I'm biased, and I, I'm not a big fan of all these multiplayer-like games anymore, man. 
it's it's just gotten ridiculous at this point, man, with Call of Duty and and like like Turkov and you know uh Overwatch, Overwatch and loot boxes and oh my god. Like this is why I just stick with like indie games and story based games and I'm happy with that. Maybe I'll play like a like a multiplayer game here and there, a fighting game here and there, but I really I, I really try to avoid these games because one, they take a long time for obvious reasons, which is good, but they take a long time and you have to put in some cases you have to put some good money into it in order to continue to play the game and, and you know get some good stuff. Um it's, and yeah, I don't know, man. It's just uh, it just got to a point it's got really ridiculous. Like I I'm happy with my stuff, you know. I'll play the free version of that one uh uh Marvel game, Marvel Rising, I think it's called. I'll play that, but I will not put money into it. I just can't, man. I I just cannot do it, dude. I'm done. Uh, I'm good, I'm good.